Hey, how's it guys? Welcome to another PyQD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create hyperlinks. So here I have a pre-built Python script. And from this script, I import a system module. And from the Qt widgets module, I import a Q application class, Q widget class. I also import a Q label class to uh, convert the label to a hyperlink. And here's my add demo class and my main routine. All right, so before we can create a hyperlink or hyperlinks, we need to understand how to create a hyperlink using HTML markup. So here's a brief uh, documentation showing you how to create a hyperlink in HTML. So first, we need to insert the A tag. The A tag defines a hyperlink. And inside the A tag, we need to use this href attribute and providing the, the link followed by the text you want to display. And here's an example. So if you want to create a hyperlink that uh, shows, visit w3schools.com. And this is how you create a hyperlink in HTML. Now let's go back to our Python editor. And here I'm going to create a class. I'm going to name this class as hyperlink label. And this class is going to be my uh, QLabel template to expedite the QLabel widgets creation. I'll pass the QLabel class as the parent class. Inside the init method, I want to insert parameter called parent. I'm going to set the default value to none. And within the hyperlink label class, I want to increase the font size using the set style sheets method. And I'll set the font size to uh, 35 pixel. And next, I want to insert a method called set open external links. And we need to set the value to 2. So this setting will allow users to automatically open a link. And here I also want to uh, insert a set parent method. And I'll provide the parent object as the parent class. So this is everything we need to do in terms of configuring the hyperlink label class. Now let's go back to the app demo class. Here I'm going to create a variable. And I'll name this variable link template. And this is going to be our template to uh, construct this HTML markup. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to just copy this. Oops, send this extra space. I'm going to insert a placeholder. So this is going to be one and the link is going to be zero and that's it now we can create our hyperlinks i'm going to create two uh, hyperlinks so one is to navigate to googles.com and the other hyperlink will navigate to github.com here i'm going to type label one is equals to hyperlink label and i'll insert the cell reference as the parent class I'm going to set a text with the link template variable, that format. The first placeholder is asking for the link address. So here I'm going to insert googles.com. And the second parameter is going to be the text that I want to display. And here I'm going to type google.com. And that's it for the first hyperlink. Now let's create hyperlink number two. And here I can just change the address to get help. And I'm going to display uh, click me. And that's it. Now if I save and run the script, and if you have a typo, uh, it should be capital P. And here I have another typo somewhere. Let's take a look. So parent is not defined. Oh, so here, this should be parent. Here I see my labels uh, overlap. So here, let me fix that real quick. So I'll move the second label to uh, 100 to the right and 100 to the bottom. And that looks much better. Now if I click on google.com, and that opens google.com on my browser. Now if I click on click me, and that open githubs.com on my browser. Alright, so this is everything I want to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. 
As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.